Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camp and Tactical Nut here. And today we're here to talk about the outdoor element, Fire Beaner. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so talking about the Outdoor Elements Fire Beaner, which is a keychain as you can see here. That's what it's intended use, but also to be a multi-tool item that you can use in a variety of situations. Now, um, just so we know, like I have three of these. I think I, should, or I did show it in a past video and talked about doing a review of it. But before we get into anything, let's run down the specs of it. But, and before I start running around the Fire Beaner, show you its uses, all that kind of stuff. But... So let's go ahead and look at the specs. This is the card that it comes on, right? So I'll let you look at this right here. If you want to pause it, if you want to pause. These are extra flints right here, and we're going to show you why in just a second. So first, it's going to run down each section of the fire beaner, and as we do that, like, uh, let's see. Number one is the sparking wheel. So just like a lighter, you have a spark, right? Number two, safety and utility blade for cutting cordage, which is that little piece right there. This can also be used as a bottle opener, a flathead screwdriver, carabiner, and then you have attachment points down here where you can attach your key, flashlight, or whatever else you want to put on it. And when I say whatever else you want to put on it, so this is my set of keys so i have my key then of course i love smoky mountain knife work so live sharp i always put uh keychain lights on my keychains this i just happen to have like a little pistol little glock and some keys right my wife's the set of my keys for my wife's car i have a pry bar <laughs> smoky mountain knife works a p38 can opener a gold AK-47, a couple of keys, her keychains, and yes, of course, another keychain link. Then, this is the set I keep for my daughter's car. I just have her key, and yes, another keychain link. So, as you can see, just by running through the descriptions of this, right, you have a lot of different uses. This can also hold gear up to 100 pounds. So where you see right up at the top here, to 100 pounds so obviously not meant to hold people or climb or anything like this but if you want to use it to hang your pack up or hang some other kind of gear around a campsite or around your house whatever depending if your backyard front yard doing something um, it's extremely helpful right the flints obviously if they add two they are replaceable and it shows you right back here how to do that uh, other cool things is colors right so as you can see, this one is black, this one is silver, and hopefully you can tell this one is anodized, right? So, I mean, I would like to say I didn't get colors because I didn't want to color code keys, but I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> I'm not that OCD, I promise. Maybe. Um, all right, so on here, you also have Grand Canyon National Park written on here. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, and then patent pending, not ready for climbing. Um, so let me show you what you can do with this. Uh, let me get the camera set up in a different spot and I'll get right back to you. All right, so as you could probably just guess anyway, um, <clears throat> this is going to be the easiest method in which to use it as a fire starting device, so to speak. Um, I'm using my BRS stove. Um, absolutely love this thing it's a backpacker's dream just because like this thing only weighs one ounce um, but now you can hear the flame because it's hot like I can't even see it so but you can hear it so if you've ever used a backpacking stove like this you know that's lit um, and I'm just saying it's just lit it's ignited <laughs> uh, but it is pretty lit um, yeah I know that's kind of cringy for all the younger kids to hear grown up using that word but 
Also, if you have other types of fire starters, right? There's a use for it. Like just using like cat and, cat and balls, cotton balls and Vaseline. This is very popular for any outdoorsman. I've used them a ton. Um, am I going the wrong way? Yep. Of course, now the wind's going to come out. Look at that. One strike once I got it settled, and now you got like multiple ways. I haven't tried it on like the quick tenders. I used to have, um, let's move this out of the way and get back up to my face for here. I used to have, there's a little container that they sold. Um, looks like a tiny little pill bottle would hold a quick tender. Um, when I was walking around and the bottom was missing, but the cap was still attached to the keychain. That was several years ago. I mean, I keep it on my keychain every day. It bounces around. I probably used it to start a fire, did not screw the cap back on fast enough, or left the capsule laying somewhere um, at a campsite wherever I started the fire. That's probably more than likely what happened. Um, but I love it, using it for this. So hold on just one second. Let me reposition the camera to show you something else. <laughs> All right, so the next one up is going to use the cord cutter. Now, is something this small going to be your most efficient, effective type of cord cutter? Um, small cords, yes. Like if you had bank line or something like that. Um, I almost, well, I exclusively use paracord. Um, and so it will require a little more effort than a knife or something like that. Oops. Let me be able to get a grip on it. But the whole point of like a multi-tool keychain is you don't have anything else, right? And so this is what will get you through in a pinch. And so there we go. Like I said, is this the most efficient, most effective way to cut cord? Is this what I would keep on hand to cut all my cordage all the time on my camp? No, but as you can see with a little bit of effort, it will get you through. Um, if you, for whatever reason, you're in a situation where you need cordage, you need it cut, and you don't have a cutting tool on you. Now, I will say this, if you don't have a cutting tool on you, shame on you. Um, if you ever met me in real life, there's not an opportunity that you'll ever catch me that I do not have a pocket knife on me, <laughs> at the very least. You know, in my packs, I keep fixed blades a lot of times. Um, especially if I know I'm going outdoors, I usually have multiple knives. Um, but yeah, guys, I just gotta tell you how much I love these. I mean, obviously, if you can tell, if I've gotten three of them, Obviously, I'm really into this thing, right? So that should give you a good clue as to how much I like these and how useful they can be. And then the different ways that you can set them up. You can customize them so much. And you can do as little as just this, right? You can literally just put one key on it. I highly recommend always keeping a flashlight key um, or a keychain flashlight just because, I mean... The overwhelming majority, probably 99.9% .9 of the people that I know and interact with every day, never carry a flashlight. They always rely on their phone. And in an everyday situation, that's not a, that big a deal. But the problem is, is that's gonna drain your battery on your phone extremely quickly. So how convenient is it to have a, something, especially like this one, this is gonna be reviewed soon. It's a Wubin keychain flashlight, like literally, I can just twist this and pull it off and use it, right? Um, but even like the other ones, right? Oops, I gotta go the other way. Um, what was I just saying? Uh, but it doesn't matter, like it, there's such, such a huge variety. Like every keychain, like I still have several other keychains in the house that all have flashlights on them. Um, but this just makes it super easy to do it just because you've got these two different size holes right here. Um, once again, hopefully you'll be able to read it, even though I told you I just want to show you. Holds 45 pounds, 
Um, then of course just the outdoor element and fire beaner logo. Um, yeah, guys, I'm just telling you, these things are absolutely phenomenal. Um, I always carry my keys on my belt loop, which is why I will set my keychains up in different ways. I cannot stand keys in my pocket. I know tons of people put them in the pocket, just not my preferred way of carrying it. I want to have other stuff in my pocket so I can be prepared for things that are going on in life. And that's why I absolutely love these because it helps me around the house, around town, and in camp, backpacking, and all that kind of stuff. So guys, hopefully this will help you in your purchasing decisions of finding an awesome keychain that is also a wonderful multi-tool. In the meantime, guys, be prepared, have fun, please hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Again, I'm doing this full time now, so all of those will tremendously help the family. I'm gonna leave a link to this down below. And in the meantime, guys, be prepared, have fun.